What's going on guys, it's Gathalion, and we are on day two of Pitchfork's Raised, and where's our B damage, and did just rock blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, the patch is hitting Xbox right now. It's out right now. And we have reports coming in on uh, what a lot of people are mostly concerned about, and that's gonna be the issue of amp damage. I'm not currently playing on Xbox, so I'm just gonna report what is being said. What's what's the word on the street? Um, be hawking unaffected. 100%, oh, where's my fucking, ah, oh, oh, that's bad. Um, be, be hawking is 100% unaffected. Um, this patch appears to only be affecting uh, amp amp damage applying to um, splash. So, um, in incorrectly. So your explosive damage, I don't know how it's gonna affect uh, amp damage applying to, uh, to say, E-Tex or whatever, but it's this is mainly just uh, splash damage being affected here. We don't need to worry about our B Hawks. I think, I think Gearbox knows at this point that they would be making a pretty bad design choice after the way that they've made OP8 to to change uh, B Hawking and um, and certain guns that have now become a staple in in most players' lineups for a lot of builds. So everybody can calm down, put away them pitchforks. Don't need to rally the troops. We don't need to, you know, raise our fists and march on uh, Plano, Texas, because that's where Gearbox is, FYI. It, we don't need to do that. Um, it seems like that is all in all unaffected. Uh, the second point I want to get to is our Digistruck peak jumping in. Um, saw a video by Jolt's Dude where Salvador can uh, can rocket jump. Uh, over into uh, uh, oh my god what the hell's area so that's not a big deal you know I'm I'm gonna do my best to find a way in uh, because I, I mean I, I was pretty quick on putting out that OP8 glitch jump video when that first thing happened and there is always a way um, I don't know why they spent time and resources fixing a terrain glitch because this some bitch is like Jurassic Park and life will find a way We'll find a way into there. You know, we'll we'll figure out how to get the OP levels easily for people who just don't want to grind it. It's not a matter of you can't do it. It's that it gets to be tedious. It gets to be very tedious, especially when you're alone. Is when OP8, anything like OP5 plus and Digistruct Peak can be very unforgiving and straight up not fun. You know, this game is supposed to be about fun and and you know it's funny because there was a, a, a interview with Randy Pitchford before the game came out talking about like fun and they, they're like oh well you took fall damage out and he's like well is fall damage fun no okay well say goodbye to it well Randy is getting one sh is getting it's getting okay you get two shot because of health gate but is getting pushed to one health even when you have the game's best shields and a top-of-the-line gear in one hit from a standard mob fun? No, that's not fun. Maybe that's what we should spend our resources on instead of fixing a goddamn terrain glitch that we're gonna find a way around, Randy. Anyways, amp damage to multi-projectile weapons like the Sandhawk is uh, reportedly untouched. So a lot of specs are not ruined. Everybody rejoice because they haven't completely ruined Endgame yet, though they are damn near on the way of it. Let me know how you feel. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And again, I'll see you next week in Moxie's DLC. Later.